Now, in the recommendations by the committee invest that investigated the incessant grid collapse in the country, there are recommendations proffered. For the next six months, these are the recommendations that we are expecting that the transmission company or the industry players will begin to implement. We talk about the capacity development, that is a lot need to be done on building capacity of the staff, especially of the system operator, that is of the independent system operator. And also the reliability maintenance, that is to say equipment in the sector needs to be maintained regularly. Not only maintaining the equipment regularly, but also maintenance around the equipment, especially now we'll talk about vegetation control, that should also be strengthened. And also project completion. All projects that are ongoing need to be completed in the next six months. By the time that all these things are achieved in the next six months, we should be able to reduce cases of grid disturbance. And now the medium term measures. Some of these medium term measures has to do with the Edget equipment replacement, that is to say all the equipment that are edged, for instance, the, the, the two grid disturbance that occurred were as a result of edget equipment in Shiroro and Jeba. So all edget equipment are expected to be replaced and also investments across value chain, across the generation, across the transmission and also the distribution, there should be more investment there. Also, there should be more funding of the gas. Also, the issue of vandalism and energy theft should be tackled seriously. Also, capacity development of the staff should also be enhanced. Now, on the long-term measures, which we are talking about one year plus, emphasis should now be on distribution network capacity. That is to say, all the facilities, all the facilities in the distribution network should be enhanced. Talking about the discourse, this is very, very important. This is key in the sense that this is key in the sense that by the time that the equipment in the distribution network, that is the discourse, when these are enhanced, it will go a long way in addressing the issue of lot rejection, which the sector is faced with. Because at times there will be more generation, but the distribution companies will not be able to carry the load because the equipment are weak. And also decentralization, the, the grid should be decentralized, that is going forward. And that is why people are now conversing for regional grid, so that in a situation whereby there is grid collapse, it will not affect the entire country. Also in the long run, that is talking about the long time, SCADA system. Nigeria is yet to have a SCADA system. Even though the work on SCADA system is ongoing, we are projecting that by next year, the work on SCADA system should be completed. When there is SCADA system, all substations and all the distribution network will be able to monitor whatever is happening on the grid. And also the issue of smart grid, that will also help in the future. And also there should be more investment on renewable energy. This will also help a lot then. What is the future of the grid that we are expecting in the nearest future? By projection, what we are expecting is that in the nearest future, a state begins to key into the electricity arts by establishing their own market. We expect that in the nearest future, every state will be able to establish its own market, to generate, transmit, and also distribute its own electricity. And also the issue of super grid, just as I earlier said, there, should be, there will be a super grid network. And also a presidential power initiative project, when it is completed, talking about the popular that is talking about the popular Siemens project. When that project is also completed, it is expected mm -hmm. that we will wrap up generation to 25 megawatt, 25,000 megawatt, and by then the capacity of the transmission company to wield this power will be enhanced.